Hello again and welcome to the Ink Nouveau, the essence of writing passion. I'm Brian Goulet with the Goulet Pen Company and what I'm going to do here for you today is I'm going to compare the large Rodeo Web Notebook with the large Quovatis Habana. And both of these are the US versions, the 90 gram version. Um, so I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and give you a review of what both notebooks are like, kind of give you some information on both so you can weigh them out because I know they're very similar notebooks but some have strengths and some have weaknesses. So um, I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to take you over to look at the notebooks. All right, so here we are. We have the Web Notebook and the Habana. Web Notebook is affectionately known as the Webby. The Web Notebook is made in France. It has 90 gram Clairefontaine paper in it. The Habana is actually made in the US, but the paper is made in France, uh, Clairefontaine. It's 90 gram Clairefontaine paper as well. Um, you can see right off the bat, the biggest difference between the two is the size. The web notebook is five and a half inch by eight and a half inch, I'm sorry, eight and a quarter inch, um, and it contains 96 sheets, which is 192 pages. The Habana is six inch by nine inch, and it contains 80 sheets. So page for page, you get a little more bang for your buck with the Rhodia, um, but the Habana is a little bit larger, so it kind of weighs out, I don't know. Um, but that's only that's one difference. Um, both of them have leatherette covers. Um, the difference between the two covers, the um, the Habana one is a little more flexible than the Webby, and the Webby one is a little bit stiffer. So if you're writing on a desk, the Habana one is going to be a little bit better for you. If you're writing on your lap or on your leg or something like that, if you want to, if you're traveling a lot and you don't always have a flat surface to write on, um, the Webby might be a little bit better for you. So, for those of you who might be confused about the Webbies, um, it's not black with an orange stripe like that, it's solid black. Um, the logo is on here. You got a little Quovatis logo at the bottom, you got a big rodeo embossed on the front there, you got a small Quovatis on the back, nothing on the back of the rodeo. They both have the elastic strap, which is nice. They both have the little uh, page marker thing, which is nice, and they both have the inner pocket in the back, which is also nice. There you go. The leather on the Habana is a little bit uh, more textured than the Rodia. The Rodia has what I feel is a little bit more of a leathery feel. Um, and as far as the stiffness goes, um, the, the Rodia is a little stiffer. The Habana has a little more bend to it, so you can kind of see that. Um, now, the biggest thing between the Rodia and the Habana is that the, the, I'm sorry, yeah, the Habana um, lays flat. And what that means is when you flip to the very first page, and you can see my notes there, when you flip to the very first page, um, that thing is going to lie flat on the table. Um, there's no hump or anything like that that you have to deal with. Um, and, and, you know, as you go further into the notebook, um, it's, it's easier to write on because there's, because there's no, uh, because of the way that it's bound. The Rodia, doesn't lie quite as flat. Um, you can see some of the tests I've done for other blogs, but um, it doesn't lay quite as flat. It's a little bit thicker notebook, so your hand is going to be a little more on the page. It's going to be a little rougher transition as you're writing on and off the page like that. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. Both of them have five stitchings um, and glued bindings, um, but the Rodeo one is a little bit stiffer, so as you get more into the middle of the page, or more into the middle of the journal, you get a little bit of that that book effect where it kind of it kind of bows up, you know, in the middle here, and you have to kind of write over this hump. The Habana, the Habana is not like that. The Habana just lays completely flat. So that's one really nice feature about this one. Obviously, you have white paper versus off white. That's a big difference. Um, neither one is offered in the other. They just come as they are. Um, and the Habana comes with eight millimeter ruling whereas the Webby comes with 7 millimeter ruling. So for those of you who like smaller ruling, the Webby's going to be a little bit better for you. The one biggest drawback to the Webby is that it's got this little Rodeo logo on every single page. Um, that's a drawback for a lot of people. That may or may not be a deal breaker for you. I don't know. It doesn't really bother me. Um, but then again, you know, I use a Habana most of the time, so <laughs> that would be why it doesn't bother me. Um, so I'm going to do a quick uh, writing test on here and then, uh, then wrap this little blog up. So the pens I have today um, is a steel semi-flex fine nib and a uh, 
stub italic nib, 1.1 millimeter, uh, medium 14 karat gold. So I'll write with both of those and give them a test. All right, so the Webby held up pretty well. Um, I don't have any feathering issues. Um, looks pretty good. Um, overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it writes. It's very smooth, smooth paper. It's nice Clairefontaine stuff. Um, and uh, you can see there's a little bit of an echo on the back. Um, I get a little bit of a little bit of a start of a bleed through right there um, with with that particular. Um, stub nib that I'm using. It's a wet writer, that's why I wanted to try with both pens, um, but that gives you an idea of what the Webby's like. Now for the Habana, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write with both pens and give you a little test drive. feathering at all. Looks really nice. I personally prefer the white paper because I think it brings out the color of the ink a little bit better. Um, I just like the way that it writes. The paper to me seems to be a little bit smoother. That may just be my interpretation. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. Um, small echo, not a big deal. Um, you could definitely write on the back of it and read it just fine. And I have no bleed through whatsoever. So I'm very pleased um, with the way the Habana performs. I really like the Habana. Um, that the Habana kind of takes my vote, but for those of you who prefer the ivory paper, um, the Webby is a good way to go about it. Um, so that is kind of a comparison of the two. And I'm going to take you back to my face. And that's a review of the U.S. version of the Quo Vadis Habana and the Rodeo Web Notebook. I hope that you enjoyed today's little episode. Um, I'm Brian Goulet. Brian at GouletPens.com is my email. Let me know if you think the test was stupid, or if you like the comparison, let me know your thoughts. Uh, give me an email, or look me up on, on any of the various forums that I belong to as Goulet Pens. Um, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm here for you. I'm trying to do these reviews to give you better products to inspire your writing. And, uh, and that's all for now. I will see you next time.